specialty alloys and components, has the highest growth rate of any business unit within ATI over the next five year horizon. Uh, it's primarily fueled by the demand in all of our end markets, aerospace and defense, space, medical, energy. All of our markets are positioned for tremendous growth. We have really unique capabilities with zirconium and hafnium and niobium. We're one of a few handful of companies that can separate hafnium from zirconium as it occurs naturally. People have searched in earnest high and low for suppliers that they can count on in volume at scale with the required requisite level of quality. Our customers are heavily dependent upon us to deliver quality products that are really important to the supply chain. And quite frankly, ATI is the largest independent provider of many of these materials and compositions in the entire world, or at least in the Western world. So we start with materials that we source directly from the mine and we take it through a refinement process in our chemical operations department. We then melt that and purify it through our melting operations, and then we fabricate it into various different product forms in our fabrication department. So we can go from the mine to a part in a vertically integrated business. The materials and compositions that come out of these sites at the volume and with the quality levels that are truly unrivaled around the world is unbelievable. These are not commodities that we're working with. We're making highly differentiated, highly value add alloy systems and all of our customers across all of our markets require that really high level of quality. We're looking at high energy physics, you're looking at you know, hypersonic applications, all of these new industries that are coming into play in in force now, the production needs for hypersonics, that technology will be the future. It's coming. I'm certain that ATI alloys are gonna be what are prescribed as the industry standard on it. I go back to you know our purpose, which is to protect lives and improve our future and our naval nuclear applications really is helping protect lives. There's a big role that zirconium has in that purpose. In terms of improving our lives, it's helping enable lower cost nuclear energy. There is a resurgence of a lot of demand from the commercial nuclear technologies that we're seeing and it's impacting the demand on our zirconium. If we don't produce the materials, a lot of our customers aren't able to produce their products. Things like MRIs, stents, rockets, aerospace, Navy nuclear, all of our customers are really important and make important things with our materials. The idea of partnering with them for investment is key to our growth. The reason why ATI is unique in this growth curve and trajectory really has everything to do with the approach to innovation and partnership with the customer base. As ATI is able to develop capabilities technologies and ultimately products that are best in class. We have the relationship and the trust of the customer base to say, here's where we see this is going. And that's positioned ATI in a way that business to business really is much more of that partnership mindset. We have a tremendous team here at SANC. The team understands that there's gonna be a lot of hurdles and a lot of challenges, but we have a lot of people that are really good at problem solving and moving from one problem to the next. And I'm sure that as we go along our growth journey, they're gonna be able to solve the problems and keep moving on and on our growth trajectory. I think there's gonna be a lot of people well into retirement that are thrilled that their fingerprints are all over what's happening here right now. We're looking at the first chapter of a really long book and an incredible ATI story.